let's talk about the Great Bear. Ursa Major is a constellation in the northern sky. It's one of the most familiar. I know that it was one of the first that I learned to recognize. I remember standing outside, staring up at the darkness above me, thinking that if I could just find the Big Dipper, I would see something familiar. In antiquity, it was one of the main 48 constellations. Today, it's the third largest of 88 modern constellations. This constellation has many names. Some call it the Big Dipper, others the Wagon, some call it the Plow. Maybe some of these names came from Nordic constellations representing the Wagon of Odin. As it is one of the most familiar shapes in the northern sky, it is also a great navigation tool. The Big Dipper has eight stars, seven that are visible at a glance. The eighth is actually a double star that is barely detectable with the naked eye and only if conditions are right. These stars played a big navigation role in U.S. history. Many slaves escaping from the south on the Underground Railroad during the Civil War were instructed to follow them to the north, to freedom. Part of this constellation arc will help you find Polaris, the North Star. This constellation has most often been seen as a female bear. It's interesting throughout history and various cultures, the relationship between humans and bears has been such a recurring theme. In Greco-Roman mythology, Jupiter, the king of the gods, pursued Callisto, a nymph. Diana, his wife, found that Callisto had a son named Arcus, and in her jealousy, she transformed Callisto into a bear. In her bear form, Callisto encountered her son, who tried to shoot her with an arrow, but Jupiter turned him into a bear too, and placed them both into the heavens. Callisto is Ursa Major, and her son, Arcus, is Ursa Minor. In the Jewish traditions, Ursa Major has also been seen as a bear. In ancient East Asian traditions, this constellation was called the North Dipper, and it was made up of seven stars. In South Korea, this constellation is called the Seven Stars of the North, and the story connected to it is about a widow with seven sons. The widow tried to build a relationship with a widower, but to get to his house, she had to cross a stream. Her seven sons placed stepping stones into a river for her to cross. Not knowing that her sons had done this for her, she blessed the men who laid the stones, and when her sons died, they became the constellation. The Iroquois of North America tell the story of three hunters pursuing a bear. In one story, the first hunter is going to use an arrow to strike down the bear. The second hunter carries a large pot to cook the bear and the third hunter has a pile of wood to light a fire. The Lakota also refer to this constellation as the Great Bear, and some Chinook tribes interpret the constellation as five wolves and two bears in the sky left by coyote. In Finnish folklore, it was believed that the bear was lowered to the earth in a golden basket from Ursa Major, and when the bear was killed, its head was placed on a tree so that it could return to the stars. Mother's Day is quickly approaching. My Patreon lessons this month is this Ursa Major painting. I walk you through each of the steps that I take, showing you the tools that I use, the colors I choose, and what actions you need to do to have your own painting. What better way to celebrate your own mother bear than giving her something that you created? If you don't feel particularly called to make art yet, you can still join my community on Patreon for less than a cup of coffee. I look forward to seeing you there. You can find the link in my bio.